Consider the signal x of t that is equal to e to the power minus mod t. Let x of g omega is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity. x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt be the Fourier transform of x of t. So the value of capital X of J zero is your time starts now. This is NAT two marker question. The question is not that tough, but let me check how many students are able to solve this question. So Hethvi is saying, sir, the answer is minus one. No Hethvi, the answer is not minus one. But why, sir? Ji, let us see. First of all, the given question was uh, capital X of J omega. The Fourier transform looks like definition they are giving. So great examiner. Integral minus infinity to infinity X of t e to the power minus J omega naught t dt. Correct. Then they were saying, can you find a capital X of J zero? So put uh, omega is equal to zero throughout, and then you will get this term. So now integral minus infinity to infinity. We have x of t into e to the power zero dt. X of t given in the question it was what, sir? It was e to the power minus mod t. E to the power zero is one. So okay. Nevertheless, uh, let us move forward and let us discuss uh, that how to solve this integration. For that, you should know the concept. You should know the concept of e to the power minus mod t, where a lot of students fail. Check it out. E to the power minus mod t. This is equal to. If you are at positive side, then mod t remains positive t. So e to the power minus mod t is positive t. But when you are at t less than zero, be cautious. Mod is a motivational player. So mod t. If I say mod minus one, what you say as the answer? Sir, mod is a motivational player. So plus one should be the answer. How from minus one you arrive at plus one by placing a minus outside? Yes or no? Minus one from here into placing minus one outside. Resultant answer is plus one. Similarly, you have to place a minus outside. Therefore, mod t in this range behaves as minus t, a minus place outside. But then we have one more minus outside. So overall, it is e to the power positive t. Understood? Then do let me know in the comment section. Yes. Is this part clear? If this part is not clear, then you will not be able to solve the integration properly. If this part is clear, then you can say, hey, "Now, sir, ji, things are pretty simple. We can split the integration. We can get the answer. Integral minus infinity to zero in the negative side. Mod t was negative t. Negative t into negative is e to the power positive t dt. Then we have integral zero to infinity in the positive side. Mod t is positive t. So e to the power minus t dt. Solving this integration to get the final answer. Now." tell me guys what is the answer you are getting because this is easy to solve yes or no now you will say sir e to the power t integration is e to the power t only then definite integration so upper limit zero lower limit minus infinity here be cautious e to the power minus t integration e to the power minus t upon minus 1 in integration always the coefficient which is there related to the variable is divided so upper limit uh, infinity lower limit zero Now do upper limit minus lower limit. Here minus outside, then upper limit minus lower limit. So now tell me, guys, what is the value of e to the power zero, sir? E to the power zero is one. We know it very well. Note it down. E to the power zero is one. But what is e to the power minus infinity, sir? It is one upon e to the power infinity, and that is equal to one upon infinity, and that is equal to zero. Yes or no, everyone in the comment section. What is e to the power minus infinity? That is equal to zero. So if you know this concept, now I guess things are pretty easy. Check it out: one, zero, zero, one. So what is the final answer then? Is it minus one hit b or is it something else? One minus zero, minus one into zero, zero, minus one into minus one, positive one. So sir, G, the answer is two. Therefore, they were asking me that can you find capital X of J zero? Yes, we can find. It is two. Understood? How not to solve the question like this in the exam, <laughs> sir? What? Uh, how not to solve question like this in exam? This is what you have uh, told right now. Yes, this is method one. We are not going to follow all these integration steps to get the answer. Then what are you going to do, sir? Ji? I'm going to use tricks and techniques because this course is all about the multiple methods. So in today's class, you will see a lot of multiple methods. Okay. So basically, 
Fourier transform concepts were involved. So can I say that x of t is equal to e to the power minus a mod t in general speaking if this is the signal the Fourier transform capital X of j omega looks like anybody in the comment section in the 2022 papers 2021 papers we have seen this kind of uh, function this kind of signal and respective Fourier transform so I'm asking you again tell me guys 2a by a square plus omega square okay so as per the question they were saying uh, as per question a is equal to 1 okay so if a is equal to 1 this signal becomes e to the power minus mod t respective Fourier transform capital X of j omega looks like a is 1 so the resultant would be 2 by 1 plus omega square what they were asking sir they were asking uh, that uh, when uh, omega is 0 what is the answer so capital X of j 0 becomes wherever omega is there replaced with 0. So what is the answer guys in one step? Sir the answer is 2. 